We're going to take a look at how to do the copula with adjectives and prepositional phrases using the functional approach in semantics. So we can ask ourselves, what is the meaning of the copula is in the sentence Benjamin is happy? Now, in terms of what it's doing in meaning, it's kind of doing this equals relationship. It's saying that Benjamin equals happy. Benjamin has the property of being happy. So when we get to the verb phrase, what we're expecting, and we'll do this in types, is we're expecting a type ET where we would get lambda, we do a lambda the right way, uh, lambda x dot x is happy. This is what we would want at this stage. But also, when we think about the meaning of the adjective, we would want the same thing. We want a type ET because the function we would get here in this case, and I'll do this on the right side, would be this lambda x such that x is happy. And we would expect that going down the tree as well. So what does that mean in term of our type for the copula? Well, we see two things. We see that we need to input an et and we need to output an et. So this means that for our type, this has to be a type et, et. And when you're taking a look at this, it just looks like an absolute disaster. What does that mean? Well, when we think about is, and we think about these types, what we're really doing is we're taking a function to another function. So when we have entities, what we do is we write lambda x dot x. If we have uh, functions or propositions, so this would be uh, one place in this case, we can write, delta p, sorry, lambda p dot p. And this just stands for a proposition. So in the case of is, its meaning is going to be lambda p dot p. And that would be the same thing for is. But let's see this in action. Because we're inserting a, a, a function into a function. So let's see exactly what this is going to look like in terms of our derivation. In fact, let's do this on the next slide now, now that we have a basis for is. So Benjamin is happy. So this is going to be lambda p dot p, which is going to pass up the tree, lambda p dot p. Happy is going to be lambda x dot x is happy. So I'm going to copy and paste this all the way up for the sake of brevity here, because we know this is going to move up the tree. And now we get to the VP. So for the VP, what we're doing is we're applying our function lambda x dot x is happy to our predicate lambda p dot p. And basically what we're doing in this case is every single instance of p, we're just going to replace it with lambda x dot x is happy. So what we get in the end is lambda x dot x is happy which is exactly what we want to get. Okay, and then for the rest of the tree, uh, Benjamin, let's just call you B, which means we can send B up the tree. So when we apply it to the sentence, this is going to be one if and only if. We can apply B to lambda x dot x is happy, and we're going to get is if B is happy. So it's true if and only if Benjamin is happy. All right, so that's how we can do the copula. So now what's going to happen when we get to prepositions, like Benjamin is with Sarah. Let's just take a look at what we need and about the meanings of things. So first I want to label some types. I know Sarah is type E. I know that Benjamin is type E. I know that the sentence is type T, which means our verb phrase is going to have to be ET. And as far as the preposition goes, well, we're not quite sure here. Um, but we know that is is the copula here. So when we say Benjamin is with Sarah, it's like saying Benjamin equals with Sarah. So we actually know the type here. So this is going to be an ET, ET. And maybe this will help us do some back calculation. Uh, so is is going to be the same thing, ET, ET. Okay, so in terms of the prepositional phrase, 
We're putting something into ET, ET, and we're getting an ET out, which means that our prepositional phrase is going to be ET. Now, the thing is, for the preposition, we have the noun phrase E coming out and becoming a prepositional phrase ET, which means for our preposition, this is going to be type ET. Now, how are we going to reconcile with this? Okay, what this is basically saying is that we have two entities and that becomes a truth value. So we're going to get something like lambda y, lambda x, uh, shouldn't be y with x, it should be x with y. And this is how we're going to treat it, just like we would in predicate logic. Like with would be with x, y, x is with y, at would be x is at y, anything like that. So this is going to be our type, and this is how we're going to do our translation. So let's see how this works in terms of the actual derivation. Benjamin is with Sarah. So I'm going to give some names to some of these. So Sarah is going to be S, that's going to pass up the tree. Benjamin is going to be B, that's going to pass up the tree. Now I don't need to worry with those. Uh, with, we know what with is. This is going to be lambda Y, lambda X, uh, X with Y, just for shorthand. And this is going to pass up the tree. So this will be lambda Y, lambda X, dot X with Y. Now, in terms of our prepositional phrase, what we're doing is we're taking lambda y, lambda x, x with y. We're taking that, and we're applying Sarah to it. So now every place there's a y, we're going to replace it with Sarah. So now we have lambda x dot x with s. Now, in terms of our verb phrase, we have is the copula. This will be lambda p dot p. Goes up to the verb itself. So for the verb phrase, we're taking lambda p dot p, and we're combining it with lambda x dot x is with s. So for every case where we have p in our original formula, we're going to replace it with lambda x dot x with s. So our result is going to be lambda x dot x with s. Now we know our truth conditions for one. This is going to be one if and only if we apply Benjamin to our function. So if B, and I'm going to put is in here just to make it grammatical, only if B is with S. So this is how we can do derivations with the copula for adjectives and prepositional phrases. Next time we're going to take a look at how it works with noun phrases. So we can finally talk about determiners and what they are going to look like.